So we're comparing fractions with different denominators using number lines. So if we look at these two fraction strips, we look at the top one, it's divided into five, and it has four sections shaded. And the bottom one has four equal sections, and it has two shaded. And if we compare these directly, we can clearly see that four over five is greater than two over four. So now if we add a number line in between these two, and I'm gonna label the fractions here, so this would be four over five, this is one whole, this is zero over here, and then I have two fourths would fit in here. And if we look on the number line, we can clearly see that the greater fraction is further to the right on the number line and the smaller fraction is closer to the zero or further to the left. So it's easy to see when we move things onto the number line where they fit and which one is the bigger fraction. It's the same as if we look at, um, if we're measuring with a ruler, and that would be one centimeter, two centimeters, three centimeters. The further we go to the right, the larger the number. <clears throat> so now I have, let's look at the number line on the top. This is 24 centimeters long, and um, I have it divided up into four pieces. So the denominator would be four, and so I'm just gonna label my number line. So one quarter, two fourths, three fourths, and this would be one whole, or we would write it as four over four, or we can just write it as one. Okay, so now I'm going to look at the number line on the bottom. We look at the scale of that number line and what it's divided into, and it's broken it down into six equal parts. So again, how many parts tells you the denominator, how many equal parts, and then this first section would be one, the second section is two, three, following the same kind of pattern as you would a ruler, five, and this is either one whole or you can write it as six over six, but what that means is the whole thing is being used. <clears throat> okay, so if I'm comparing these two now, and I'm going to shade two fourths at the top and three sixths at the bottom. And what I want you to notice is that just because they have a different denominator doesn't mean that they're a different number completely. These two numbers here, even though the numerators and denominators in the two fractions aren't the same, the fractions are equal because they represent the same place on the number line. So I would write this as being two over four is equal to three over six. So they would hold the same place on the number line. 